What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We will be doing another unboxing. This is my second uh, MTV box and I've been labeling these boxes, oh, this corner. Um, so this is box number two. I like to list every single lure that I get to just kind of just keep track of the lures as well. So as you can see, uh, it hasn't been opened yet. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy. what it looks like right and then of course you open this up gives you a ruling here and gives you some directions on how you can snap some pictures and then tag uh, mystery tackle box and shop carls and you can win a prize really really neat all right so first things first is black fly lures this is so interesting. This is, it doesn't give me the weight or the color of it. Well, this is so interesting. It's like a spinner bait, but like the blades itself, they're like half moons. It's super cool. And it's super interesting. I'm really interested to throw this. Handmade in Canada. Black fly lures. Look at this thing. This thing just looks gorgeous. Hey, I'm gonna have to check out this website later. Next we have Baker lures. So this is a jerk bait. That's an awesome detail. JLD2 series. It is a 3.25 inch jerk bait a third of an ounce for trout perch bass and walleye the color is called silver black very very neat good design as well you can see well, it's kind of hard my camera's not really focusing here very very cool dive and swim suspended at at a depth of about three feet. Very, very neat. Spear point performance hooks, EWG standard gauge. Three odd and four odd. It's a two pack. Very, very cool. It's got a V grip. Look at these bad boys. That is very, very cool. I wonder why, I wonder why they make it shape like that. Definitely something I'm gonna have to check out. I'm not too familiar with the different shapes of the hooks as to what um, anglers would use these types of hooks for, but I'm very, very interested. Next up, we have, all right, a Guggen Squad Grass Hero Swim Jig, quarter of an ounce. I think this color, it's called Bluegill, and it does come equipped with a four odd hook. This is awesome. This is like the second or the third Grass Hero Jig I've gotten in all these boxes. Very, very neat. I'm very, very, very fond of the Guggen Squad stuff. Next we have Savage Gear. Three pieces. 3D bait fish paddle tail. Four inches. And these things look really, really detailed. Um, there's also a slot at the bottom for the hooks. So look at it like this. So you can add another treble down here as well. Um, obviously the line would go up here, but look at this thing. It's hard to tell because my GoPro Hero 4, but look how awesome this thing looks. Let's see if we can get a top view. 
Uh, it's too hard to tell. It's four inches. So four inches long. Uh, three eighths of an ounce. And the color is called Pearl. I'm definitely going to be excited to throw these bad boys out. Next up, we have Kalen's 4-inch Jerk Minnow Jr. And the color is called Baitfish. These actually look really cool. I've seen a lot of, I've recognized this, uh, this package here because it's, it sticks out, it's very unique. It's got the yellow on top. It's got the big old brand in the corner here. Um, it's probably kind of hard to tell, but the flakes in here shine a lot. And it's very, very cool. I typically don't use jerk baits. I normally just use them as a trailer, but I've seen a lot of guys use them on like, even with like weightless hooks, uh, EWG style, or else they hook them like right in the first half right there and they just you know throw them out there and just kind of twitch twitch pause type deal so very very cool definitely gonna have to try that uh, this year it looks like it's got a flat top and then it looks like it's got small ribs like up and down so it's not just like a flat it's actually got some some texture to it very neat next up we have 13 fishing. So these bad boys right here. Joystick ultra thin rabbit ear tail. It's number 35 blueberry yum yum. Four and a half inches. Oh, they even give the weight. Oh, that's super cool. Three thirty seconds of an ounce. So super mega certified donkey sauce and it's got max buoyancy. Very, very cool. And then obviously the awesome 13 fishing logo in the corner. That is super neat. Look at that. Obviously it's got a little thicker body right in the middle. Probably where the hook is going to end up. But look at that tail. That rabbit tail. It's a rabbit ear tail. Very, very neat. Very unique. Definitely excited to throw that out as well. And then Big Bite Baits, fortified with bait juice. Um, this actually doesn't come up. Oh, it doesn't tell me a color or anything. Maybe once I, I look at the card, but it looks like it is about four inches. It looks like it is black and blue. So very, very neat with some, with a ton of flakes, not some, but a ton of flakes, you can see it. Sorry for the glare. Very, very cool. Looks very nice as well. Looks like it's just a regular four inch stick bait. Oh, cool. 10,000 fish Zuchi bug. I hope I'm, I'm pronouncing this right. Five inches, irresistible flutter wings and tickle tail. So it's really hard to see. I'm hoping that my camera will be able to catch. Uh, no, because of the reflection. So we'll start. So there's the body and there's a the tail. It's not, it's not really doing any justice here. Well, this is what it is. 10,000 fish, Zuchi bug, I believe. And then right here, five inch irresistible flutter wings and tickle tail. So we'll turn around to the back and they always give you um, ideas on how to rig it. So a Texas rig or Carolina rig with the EWG hook and look at the body. This color is called black and blue. So black and blue, you can see, and it is a six pack. So right there in the corner, six pack. 
Nice. I'm not sure how thick the body is, but it definitely looks like it is built for punching. So, and then last but not least, the lure, Bill Lewis SB57 crankbait. And this thing looks gorgeous. This thing is really fat on top. I don't think I've ever seen a, squ a square bill that fat. It's a rattle trap. And the detail on this thing is amazing. My camera is not doing this any justice at all. But it is really thick on top. Very, very detailed. Mark Daniels Jr. Signature Lure. Circuit board bill. Durable with strong action and it is a slow rise. It weighs 3 eighths of an ounce, 2.25 inches, dies 3 to 6 feet, and the color is called Sneaky Shad. But you can kind of see the nose there, the top lip. Look at the gills. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that angle. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. And then obviously we got the dibble. So fishing tips and tricks by Carl Von Dibble. Um, so it kind of gives you like um, stuff about like thunder and lightning, the advantages, five tips for fishing in tough conditions. Obviously this is a bass box. So it's obviously gonna be five tips for bass fishing in tough conditions. Uh, bobber fishing, browns and bows. Lure color selection as well. And then obviously it gives you a breakdown on some Guggen rods here. And then some top three lures for inshore saltwater fishing. So very, very cool. Ice fishing, obviously I don't do that. Uh, stinger hooks. And then gives you tips on how to be a better net man too. Interesting. Always, always, always love reading through these because it gives you tips and tricks that normally you probably know, but just didn't think about. So it's always nice to get a little refresher. And sometimes you read these and it's like, oh, I knew that, but let me try something different. So it's always nice to go through these. And then obviously we got some more stuff in here. So the Grass Hero Jig, it kind of breaks down all the stuff for you. Um, materials, length of the weed guard, stuff like that. And then obviously how to fish it, where to fish it and things like that. So very, very cool. And like I said, it's very nice because it tells you like so there's, here, I'll show you. There's like, you can creep it, you can stroke it, or you can swim it. So a lot of times it's not just about straight retrieve, you know, throwing out the swim jig and then just do, doing a straight retrieve. Obviously that's the easiest method. But like I said, you just change up that presentation a little bit. You can even do a jerk, jerk pause. I mean, with the swim jig, it's very uncommon, but just trying to change that presentation just a little bit can make a huge difference. And then obviously the new, uh, the 10,000 fish Zuchi bug, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering this, but it kind of gives you a breakdown from 10,000 fish. Um, it gives you uh, gear recommendations down here as well. And then on the back, it kind of talks about the design as well. So bug hacks and things like that. So it looks like you can actually um, cut these off, which is super interesting. Snip off the wings to help increase the fall rate. Or you can pinch off the bait legs for a downsized, more suitable presentation. Interesting. Very, very versatile. Nice to have in your arsenal. And then this awesome catch co sticker. I'm going to have so many stickers by the end of this. And last but not least, a QR code to kind of uh, give you pro tips. 
and stuff like that, it's always, always nice to get tips from the pros. And then on the back, it tells you what's in your box and it gives you the price of your box as well. Or it gives you um, the price of everything in there so you kind of get a gist of um, how expensive these lures are. So again, thanks to every single person out there that's been watching, liking, commenting, uh, subbing. Obviously, if you follow my Facebook page as well, like I said, I do want to do the appreciation packages, but I've just had so many things going on outside of um, just doing my YouTube videos. Like I said, I work 40 hours a week and right now life is just it's kind of an uphill battle right now, but I do want to start doing the appreciation packages. I just got to figure out, you know, the boxes and little small details here and there but it will be coming soon so it's not something that i just talked about and it's never going to happen so again thanks for all the love the support keep watching and when springtime comes there will be some fishing videos obviously because everything's frozen over right now but look forward to the appreciation packages and follow me on facebook and instagram peace